Well, we've reached the business end of the season. We're still in with a shout of a top six finish in the Premier League. And we've reached the semi-finals of the Europa Conference League. Both legs of which are in today's episode. Hello everyone and welcome to part 14 of a seller success story. If you're familiar with the channel, if you've watched before, if you're a subscriber, if you've been waiting for the next episode of this series to come out, my apologies, um, I know it's been a while. It's been almost two weeks since I uploaded. The game, I got to this point ages ago and I haven't played it yet. I've had a lot going on in my personal life, what with work, kids, other stuff going on. Uh, a few bits and pieces that I'm not going to get into now, but... There's just been a, things that have prevented me from recording, to be honest. I just haven't had the time. Um, late nights at work, early mornings, like I said, kids, etc., etc. So, my apologies um, to anyone who has been waiting for the next episode. We're here now. Um, as you can see, if you have been a viewer before, I've had a trim. Um, decided that I could shave all my hair off instead of pulling it all out when we throw away two goal leads at home, like we did in the last episode where we played Brighton and Chelsea. Um, in this episode, it's the UEFA Europa Conference League semi-final first and second leg at home to Leipzig first off and then we're away in the return. We play Arsenal in the league in between. I'm not going to show that. We'll skip through that one. Um, but we have got a chance of finishing in the top six in the league. Like I said, since you were last with me, um, where were we here? We played Brighton and Chelsea in February. We're now at the end of April. We've gone through a couple of wins, got knocked out of the FA Cup in the fifth round after extra time, lost to Newcastle in the league. And then we beat Man City 3-0 at home. We went through the quarterfinal, draws with West Ham, Man United and Aston Villa in the league. And then a 5-1 victory over rock bottom Southampton. We now play Leipzig, and if we look at the league table, we are in ninth position. We've got a game in hand over Man United, who are on 56 points. So we're six points behind, game in hand, six games left. We've still got a chance. We've still got a chance. We've got a game in hand over everyone in that, in that sort of zone. So we've still got a chance of making top six. We're going we're gonna to push on and try our hardest. Before we get to the first leg of the Leipzig game, I said about if you have watched it before and explained to you why well, there has been no video for the last two weeks, or almost two weeks, but if you haven't watched before, if you're a new viewer, please do hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to know when new videos are going to be released, comment below just to say hi, and yeah, help me build the channel. And now, I think it's time to go and play a football match, didn't you? Right, the team to take on Leipzig in the first leg is Livakovic in goal, Agu at the right, Anderson, Koyati, Mitchell on the left, Grilich and Braganza in midfield, Elise on the right wing, Hlozek on the left wing, Eduard and Sesko up front. Benjamin Sesko has been everything I said he was going to be. Um, I said in the last couple of episodes after signing him that he's been a revelation. And he has um, 17 goals in 17 appearances in all competition, including 13 goals in 12 Premier League games. He is he's a brilliant player, um, 7.69 rating, and he's a superstar. And hopefully he can lead us to glory. And here we go. Thought we might have actually got on the end of something there for a first highlight, but it's not going to happen, is it? Leipzig are going to try and play it out from the back. And as I said before, I haven't actually played this game for a while now. It's the first I've picked up. And picked up? Uh, first time I've put it on on my laptop for almost two weeks since just after the last episode went. Is it Edward's through here? Sesco through to Edward, and that is one nil to the Palace within two and a half minutes of the first leg. It was Livakovic with a long kick, 
Sesco brought it under control. I thought he was going to shoot. He didn't. He passed it. Edouard timed his run perfectly. And that is 1-0. Can't hope for a much better start than that, can we? Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't played it. So if the game decides to punish me and we end up losing 7-1 here, that's the reason. Here's Elise picking the ball up on the left. Cuts inside. Braganza looking for Sesco with the searching ball, but it's been cut out. And for some reason, they go all the way back to their goalkeeper. I'm going to attack it. Agu's picked up possession after a loose... Oh, that's, that's poor. That's a poor pass. He come back, managed to make the tackle, but he went straight to Paulson, and that's one all. Quite an interesting start, really, isn't it? It's Grilich, really poor pass. Went back, and then, see, Grilich gets back, but who's that there? Coyarte. Is that Coyarte? I think that was Coyarte. He was completely come out of position. He's dropped back and left Paulson unmarked there. And here we go. Cross comes in, Livakovic, safe hands. Safe hands were needed. Um, yeah, like I said before, it might end up punishing me this game because I ain't played it for a while. But you've been unloyal. We're going to make you lose in the semi-final. The dream, the dream, the ambition coming back to this. Oh, no. Uh, Awful defending, but luckily it was poor finishing. Yeah, the ultimate goal for this. Now we're back playing a semi final. Now we're still in with a shout of a top six finish, would be to win this competition, finish in the top six, get a bit of money to spend in the summer, and push on, aim for top four for next season. And a Champions League qualification. That, that would be the aim. That's, that's what I'm dreaming of anyway. It might just be a pipe dream, but that is what I'm dreaming of. Um, we're behind on XG. We're behind on possession. To be honest, after taking an early lead, I'm not very happy. To be honest, I'm going to see if I can give them a kick up the arse by telling them I'm not happy. Grilich is the standout poor player at the minute on a 6.3. He's only in because of suspension. He wouldn't be starting otherwise. And there was awful defending again from Coyarte. Coyarte again, another player who's only in because of suspension and injuries. Um, Gerhi's not 100% fit. Renan suspended for this game. I think I'm going to make a couple of changes here. Grilich is playing poorly. So I'm going to take him off and bring on Riedewald. Um We've got a couple of tired legs in attack, but right, let's take Edward off, bring on Petkovic, see if he can fire something up. And shout a bit of encouragement. We need to get a win here. The ideal would have been a win and a clean sheet. We haven't kept the clean sheet. But we can still get the win. Oh, not with passes like that, we can't. What was he doing? It's Mitchell, who wins, wins back possession after Flozek's mistake. Flozek, Braganza, picks out Sesco. One-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper. And... Oh! How's he missed that? It, it was easier for him to score. I was saying about how good he was before. He's averaging a goal a game at the minute. Let's shout some more encouragement right at the end here. But we might have to go to Germany and get a result. Here's Elise. And that's 
cleared from danger. We've got two minutes of added on time to try and nick a winner here. And we haven't. We haven't nicked the winner. Um, Elise an under par performance. Coyote was poor in defence. Mitchell 6.4 at the back. And after going 1 0 up after two and a half minutes, we've been second best in that game. And we are going to need a much better performance in the second leg, or we won't be making the final. Well, we played a rotated team for the trip to Arsenal. Had Cheek Coyote sent off after six minutes and got smashed 5 1. Um, not great preparation, but we did have to rest half the team. Um, didn't help anyway because Odson Edwards picked up a knock. He did play in that last game, but um, he's picked up a knock in training, misses this second leg. Cheek Coyote have dropped off. He got sent off. That's his punishment for getting sent off and leaving us in the lurch. Mansberg's back in midfield. Renan is back in defence. Um, and Petkovic comes in for Edward. So the team is Livakovic in goal. He has picked up a knock, but he's passed his fitness test and they say that he's fully fit. Agu at right back. Anderson and Renan in the middle. Mitchell on the left. Mansberg and Braganza in midfield. Elise on the right. Flozek on the left. Petkovic behind Sesko. Um... I'm changing the mentality to attacking. I know we're away from home, but I want to go into this game and nick a goal or possibly two goals early. That's the aim. Could all backfire and us going for goals could mean that they get the chances and they end up scoring. But we've got to go for it, haven't we? It's the second leg of a semi-final in Europe. We've got to go for it. If it don't pay off, it don't pay off. But I would rather come out here and go for it than play for a draw and try, or play for it to try and nick a 1 0. We've got attacking options on the bench. We can change our formation if needs be. We can stick four players up front if we have to. Um, But the aim is to come out here and try and get an early goal. And try not to concede one. And it's looking like we will. And we do. Yusef Paulson again. He scored in the first leg after six minutes, I think it was. He scored up in less than five in his second leg. <sighs> Poor defending again, really. Should have picked him up. Adam put the cross in. Paulson unmarked. Easy as that, really. And now we need to go for it. I've put us on attacking for a reason. Come on. Mitchell over the top. Sesco has hit the post. What? Oh, he's offside. I wonder why Elise weren't coming in then. Um, but he's offside. Twenty five minutes in and Leipzig are gonna get another chance here and Oh poor finish. Livakovic comes out and gathers. We need a goal, preferably before half time. A free kick in a dangerous position. Elise goes for goal and it's saved. Quite a way out to be fair. Corner comes in. Cleared. Klozek. Come on, put it in. Renan. Klozek. Braganza. Back to Renan. Playing around and highlight finishes. <laughs> we come back and Leipzig have got a corner and... No, we've cleared it. Braganza chasing the ball down. Can he get to it? He doesn't get there first. Leipzig pick up the loose ball and... are going to look to try and add a second... And they're in here, but their finishing was awful. Out of play for a goal kick. All the time it's only 1-0, we're still in it, but we're not playing very well. We've only got 46% of the possession. Our XG's like 0.36 or something, I think it just said then. Over the top, Petkovic. Klozek. 
Can he take on the defence? He can. Get a ball in. No, why did why'd you go for a shot there? You've got two players in the middle and goes for a shot. And we've reached half-time in his second leg and we're 1-0 down. Um, you've been terrible so far. Sort it out. We're going to carry on with the attacking. We're going to focus to play more down the middle, I think. I'm not going to focus, but I'm just going to go fairly narrow with the with the attacking width. Um, let's go more standard there. Counter press to try and win the ball back. Uh, I think we should hit early crosses. Let's be more expressive. Run at their defence. Just we need to do something here. Yeah? We just need to do something. We give us ten, fifteen minutes and then make a couple of changes. We're two 0 down. It's all ending. It's all ending. Oh there. I don't know why it won't let me change. No, I will now. So we send two round. Right. Now Elise is gonna play as the Mazala on attack. Keep them two as they are. Going to have Sesco there. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't talking then. I was trying to concentrate on figuring out a plan of action to try and get back into this game. We've got less than half an hour. Encouragement. Come on. I don't know if it's going to work. It doesn't look like it's going to. And Sesco can't bring the ball under control. No one's playing very well. And Leipzig are basically playing with us here. They're going to go 3 0 up. This is the worst performance I've seen in a long, well, since the last game, because we got absolutely slaughtered there as well. Let's take him off for Greenwich. Let's to run for Kozak. Well, we got to the semi-final, ladies and gents. And at the minute, 
every episode is ending in disappointment. Literally every episode. The last one we threw away two goal leads. This one we get a draw in the first leg, losing the second. I said the game's probably going to punish me, and it has. Um, I haven't played this game for nearly two weeks. We've got we've drawn at home against Leipzig. We've then got beat 5-1 away to Arsenal, 3-0 away to Leipzig in the second leg. Um, I'm going to thrash my arms and tell them I'm far from pleased because I am. Um, and as it stands, I don't see a reason for me to come back until the end of this season. Um, we're nine points off the top six. We've not got that many games to play. I don't see us getting three more wins than Newcastle and United. We've got to play at Leeds, Liverpool, Sheffield United, Leicester, Tottenham. If by some miracle we reach the last game of the season and we're in with a shout of finishing in the top six, I'll come back. If not, you're going to see me at the end of the season where I will give you a roundup. I will look at the season review and look ahead to next season we'll have a look see how much money we've got see which players are going to be look i'm going to be looking to move on and maybe a couple of players that i've identified to bring in but other than that there's no point in keep coming back for disappointment after disappointment after disappointment it's is, is it going to make good viewing i'm not sure um if it is going to make good viewing and you like seeing me get the ump and you like seeing us lose and throwing away victories and stuff comment below tell me tell me you love it say i love it i do i absolutely love it and then i will we'll come back and we'll play all the big teams and we'll get beat every episode other than that um it i don't think it's very fun um i thought we were on the brink of a final there well we were on the brink of a final until we threw it away um <laughs> anyway Right, that's enough jibber jabber jibber jabber jibber jabber. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to leave you to it. I'm going to thank you very much for watching. I'm going to say, hopefully you'll join me again for the next episode. If you did like that episode, please smash the like button, hit the notification bell to know when new videos are uploaded. Obviously, subscribe to the channel as well. And like I said, comment below just to say hi. Or tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. If you do like me getting beat all the time and getting up and moaning. Um, because apparently I moan a lot. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.